In Belarus, one of the issues has been the controversial presidential election a couple of months ago. Accusations of a rigged election sparked nationwide protests and civil unrest. Now a group of performers is confronting the problem through song. Foreign correspondent Chris Livesay has the story. Unbridled resistance and unprecedented outrage. For two months, young and old in Belarus have denounced President Alexander Lukashenko for allegedly stealing an election. His reaction has been savage. Several protesters have died from their injuries. Thousands of others detained and abducted. But it's clearly backfired despite beating them, bludgeoning them, and even torturing them. Today, they've given up their fear and traded it in for anger and for courage. At times, they protest by the hundreds of thousands, but at others with the power of song. It might be in a subway or a shopping mall flash mobs contesting the government in and out before police can catch them. We're like guerrilla fighters, they tell me, in their first TV interview from an undisclosed location in the capital Minsk. Who are these daredevils? Professional musicians from the National Philharmonic. Their protests began on the steps of their concert hall with folk songs that have become anthems of the opposition. After police started to harass them, they took their movement underground and were stunned to find regular people eager to join in. They were crying and thanking us, he says. We realized that art can bolster the fighting spirit. It's a fight that resembles David and Goliath. Lukashenko, backed by his old ally, Russian President Vladimir Putin, deploying the military to challenge peaceful protesters. For now, it's a war of attrition, grinding on between Europe's so-called last dictator of 26 years and the people demanding he step down. Lukashenko has the military. You have music. Who's going to win? We've already won, they say. We have defeated fear. The Belarus revolution has no single leader, except perhaps the music. Chris Livesay, CBS News, Rome.